All right, a little something different again tonight. Uh, getting slightly away from the anime. I recently placed an order for some uh, various foodstuffs through J-List, and that was the beginning of the month. Actually, I believe it was October 1st. I placed the order, and yeah, showed up today. This is, uh, well, earlier today, before I went to work, uh, October 21st, Monday, October 21st. Yeah, I'm just recording this now because I was actually on my way out the door going to work and just getting home now. So uh, well, let's uh, get in here because there's some fun little foodstuffs. Nothing too um, out of the ordinary, just uh, Japanese versions of some uh, U.S. foodstuffs and then... Hmm. Couple interesting other little things, so I'll go ahead and get into the box. All right, let's see here. And first off, right away, let's see. Little looks like a little thing of napkins, little promotional pack of napkins from. Uh, from J List. That's nothing I ordered, just what came along with this. So yeah, here we go. Um, this is the this is an interesting one. Uh, Sword Art Online. This is actually a uh, Asuna's cookbook or cook storybook. It's not an actual cookbook, but it has some uh, cookies inside of it. And yeah, you're gonna see a lot of these are actually just like cookies that I've ordered. Like here we have chocolate cream Oreos. Um, and it looks like they come in two packs inside. I'm guessing with nine cookies in each pack. And here we have the original Oreos. And from what I read on their website, they said that typically the Oreos produced in Japan are not quite as sweet as the... Uh, diabetic treats that are put out here in the United States. Oh, and... <laughs> well, it looks like another little J-List freebie. Some uh, paper uh, anime character eyeglasses. That's, that's a nice, neat little bonus they threw in there as well. I love these little tiny bonuses that you're not really expecting. And continuing on with the Oreos, yeah, um, this is uh, cheesecake flavored soft Oreo cookies. Thought it was an interesting flavor. Try the cheesecake flavor. Not, I don't know if they've sold cheesecake before here in the U.S. or not. And uh, yeah, we're not done with Oreos yet because here we have green tea chocolate Oreos. Yeah, or, I, I do like Oreos, but maybe I went a little overboard getting four different varieties of Oreos. Who knows? Eh, you only live once, right? All right, here's an interesting one with Halloween just around the corner. Here we have Pumpkin Pudding Kit Kats. I do like pumpkin-flavored things, so I thought that'd be a need to try those out. And then, of course, got to have... The green tea Kit Kat. Matcha green tea Kit Kats. Neat stuff. And, of course, then we also have Ramane Mentos. Mentos Duo. Yeah, different flavors here. Uh, looks like we have a grape and an orange. Um, lemon, and I'm guessing honeydew, based on the picture. Not really sure. Mentos Duo. Kind of. And then the one I was really looking forward to out of all this. Again, going back to Sword Art Online. Hmm. The, uh, a, uh... Asana Sword Art Online Vigenette Figurine. 
and this was a neat one here. Uh, let me see if I can turn on the light and get it to show inside. It's Asana sitting on a staircase and with a little picnic, picnic basket lunch to share. And this is like one of the figurines that you might be able to get in a game center in Japan, according to their website. And let me see. I'll open this up. See if we can get a little better look at this. I want to do this without destroying the box. One more piece of tape over here. This was a much, as I have to say, this is um, much larger than I was actually expecting. I was expecting this to be, when they said a game center figurine, like a smaller, like a trinket. Okay. Tape and tape. And this is a staircase that goes on the side. I assume this just all goes together. Pegs for the staircase. She would sit down on there. And a hamburger fell out of my picnic lunch. Oh, I wasn't expecting the, uh, that's neat, or not hamburger, sandwiches. The sandwiches are loose in there, so i put that back in there like so. See a very nicely detailed asana. And she would just sit on there like so and picnic lunch. So this would be a neat little addition to my uh, shelf of toys if I can find a room for it. And before I wrap this up, I have one little um, bonus thing that arrived today too that I ordered off of Amazon. And uh, you know, one thing I like to do when I shop off of Amazon is I like to make sure when I look at classic art box um, singles a lot of the sellers when they list used items will instead of when the listing is for take for instance Tenchi Moyo GXP uh, for box number one which the first release with volume one came with the art box for the whole series so it was listed, uh, the new listing is, of course, one disc plus art box. Well, what a lot of the sellers will do that are buying, or I'm sorry, th that are selling their product used, is they will list a completely full 
box set under there with a price that's similar to what should be essentially be for a single. So, uh, yeah, for $28, sure enough, I picked up. And, and the cool thing about this listing was, when you read it, three of the discs in here had not even been unwrapped yet. So, this is not only was this like new, but, you know, three discs brand new. And the art box is in extremely good shape. A little bit of wear on the corners. And a little bit of bowing across the top. But otherwise, I mean, this is... For $20, $28, this was one hell of a buy. To have an art box in this good a shape yet. For that cheap. And, like I said, eight discs. And three of them still in the shrink wrap. Have not even been touched yet. And the other five are in almost mint condition so uh shout out to the uh buyer or i'm sorry the seller that i got this from um the store is uh let me see here if i can find scavenger books is the name of the seller on amazon so a shout out to that seller for uh <laughs> one hell of a deal getting this getting this for 28 dollars is a steal, in my opinion, especially for an out-of-print set from 2004 that's not... <laughs> I don't know when the last time this one was available. I think the last uh, Funimation art box I saw was a uh, four box um, with eight discs, two per gem case. So, uh, yeah. Um, let me just readjust my camera here so I can show you the art box just a little bit better because I, th I think it's kind of neat the uh, the uh, one side of the art box here and uh, you go to the opposite side <laughs> it, it's yeah it's their backs and uh, yeah 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 so yeah, saying that that uh, pose on the front there wasn't exactly uh, Willingly, <laughs> willful, let's say, but yeah, um, Senya Yamada on the top, and <laughs> an interesting uh, pose for Rio Oki there. And yeah, here's Senya Yamada again on the bottom. So, uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to share that along with uh, goodies that came in today from J-List. So uh, thanks for tuning in, and uh, hopefully later on the, this week I uh, should have a few more uh, cool little things to unbox, and uh, we'll see you then.